All right, welcome back. If you have a Land Rover Defender hardtop like this, and you want to convert into a Land Rover Defender soft top like this, what's involved? I'll walk you through it. Stick around. All right, welcome back. Thanks again for joining me. I'm Paul Masenchik with Autology Motors here in Denia, Spain. This is a Defender 90 200 TDI soft top, as you can see. I built it for a customer in Texas. But it brings up an interesting question I get all the time, which is people who want a Defender and are interested in what's involved in converting from a hard top to a soft top and potentially using both tops and going back and forth between them. Um, by way of illustration, I'm gonna walk you over to these other vehicles here. Sorry for the mess in here. This is a Santana 2500 I'm finishing up, but for the purposes of this discussion about hard tops versus soft tops, it is identical to a Defender 90. Um, when most people think of a Defender soft top, I think they are envisioning being able to use the vehicle fully open, something like this. This is a Series 2A, but when they picture an open Land Rover Defender, I think they're picturing something more along the lines of this, or this, which is a Series 3 that we're finishing up. You know, being able to use the canvas roof and the frame in place, or roll the sides up on the canvas roof, or be able to remove everything and just run the truck fully open, which is an incredibly wonderful way to run the truck. But doing that with a Defender poses some challenges, and that's mostly relating to the doors. Now, to a certain extent, Defenders, all Land Rovers, are kind of like Lego trucks. You can take the roofs off and you can put different roofs on. You know, if you have a Defender 90 and you pull the hard top, you can put a pickup truck cab on it from a Defender, or, you know. You can mix and match tops and other components pretty easily with Land Rovers. But with Defenders, when you're converting from a hard top to a soft top, the big challenge is with the doors. So removing the hard top is not terribly difficult. There's bolts that run along the belt line and along the header rail, and you undo those, and the hard top will lift off and remove completely. But the doors, are one piece because the doors on a Defender 90, unlike these series trucks, have roll-up windows. So the original doors on this vehicle here were these. And you can see they're all one piece and they have a roll-up window and the window goes up and down into the, into the door frame. Now what this means is that if you remove the hard top, the door is still going to be in place here. And again, in, in the rear, this is also true. This is identical to a Defender rear door, and it's all one piece. So you can remove the hard top and take it off, but the door will still be sticking up. The two front doors and the rear door. So what we do when we convert a Defender 90 to a soft top is we also change the doors. As you can see here, we've backdated the doors to this earlier series door. Same doors on this truck. With these recessed pull-up door handles, but most critically, no roll-up windows. And the door and the window section are two pieces. You lose the roll-up windows. These are sliding windows. But this piece of the door, this part of the door with the window glass in it, can be unbolted and removed. 
under this panel are two bolts. You can unbolt and remove this whole section. And it comes off just like this. This has window sections in it, but they're removed. And the rear door, we convert to a half height rear door. Again, an earlier style, like off same kind of rear door you'd see on this old series truck. Now this truck in particular, the customer wanted to use both roofs. He wanted the ability to change back and forth from a hard top to a soft top. The front doors, when we convert to the split style, the earlier style, they fit fine with the hard top, no problem. But the rear door would not. If we converted this to this two-piece style on a series, like an old series truck like this, or like you see here on this old, this old one, this is a two-piece rear door. But the contours are different, the shape is different. See how it's all squared off here? It wouldn't fit in this area. So we can't convert the rear door to a two-piece style. What that means is, for this customer who wants to run both roofs, he actually gets a second rear door, which is there, it's all wrapped up, painted with a new latch assembly in it, and a new striker, because the striker's different. So to change from a hard top to a soft top, we've already done the front doors for him but he'll have to unbolt and remove the hard top, unbolt and remove the rear door, unbolt and replace the striker for the door, then bolt on the new half height rear door, then put on the frame and the canvas roof. It's a decent amount of work and it's not something you're gonna do and switch back and forth all the time. This hard top is bulky and heavy, requires, you know, two or three fairly strong people to get it off without scratching anything. And it takes up a ton of room. So for most people, having both hard and soft tops is not a ter terribly appealing solution because they're not gonna go back and forth very often. But it does allow you to have a hard top for the winter, let's say fit it in October or November, run the hard top all through the winter. And then when it starts, the weather starts to get warm in the spring again, go through the hassle of switching tops again. And then you have a canvas roof for the spring and summer. And that can work out really well if you're in an area with all four seasons. Here in Spain, I, I, if I think I'm going to need a soft top, or I want a soft top, I just fit the soft top and live with it. But if you're in an area that gets cold in the winter and hot in the summer and you really do want the ability to do both, it can be accomplished by changing the doors. So going back to this white one here, which was originally a hard top. The front doors are different, two piece style. The rear door is different, half height rear door, different striker, different latches, soft top and frame. And then there's the ability with this truck to take, to run it like this, which is fairly closed up and weatherproof just roll the sides up on the canvas top and the back and get a lot of airflow and run it, you know, with a lot of airflow, but with some sun protection over your head. Or you can take the canvas and bars off, unbolt the tops of the front doors and remove them and run the truck very open. Basically everything above this belt line open. And that's a really nice combination to have. So that's what this truck was built to be able to do. 
The front doors are already changed. The rear door, the additional rear door is in the back and it will ship with a soft top and frame and he'll be able to do what he wants to do. Run it fully closed with a hard top, remove the hard top and run the soft top or just take everything off and run the truck fully open. But it is a decent amount of work to change and it's not something I think most people do very often. I mean, I think most of the people who ask me to build them trucks with both tops, most of them change it once. <laughs> and then they go from a hard top to a soft top once and they think, that's it, I'm leaving it like this. Because it's a lot of work. And I think for most people, picking one top or the other is the way to go. But it can be accomplished. It is possible to fit, uh, to, to build the truck with both tops. By the way, if you do do that, you essentially use a Series 3 door, bottom part and top part, all the Series 3 latches and locks and everything. And the same for the rear. Series 3 tailgate, half-height tailgate with the latches and the strikers and everything. It's all Series 3 parts that you put on there. That white one I showed you at the front of the shop that's done, that's the actual Defender 90 soft top, is all Series doors and, and ser just like you'd see on this truck or this one. So yeah, I hope that clears up a little bit the hard and soft top question. I get it a lot. It can be done, um, but I think for most people, Picking hard top or soft top is generally a better solution than, than trying to maintain the ability to do both. Thanks very much. Uh, if there's anything I can do for you, leave it in the comments below. Any questions you have, I'm always here. Thanks very much again for joining me.